What's up guys, Mr. Gims back again, and today we have some uh, breaking news about the anniversary chapter. Anniversary chapter that's not even here yet. This is really early to be sharing this, so apart from the thumbnail, I apologize, but if you don't want to know anything about the possible leaks of the next killer and survivor, please click off this video now. I don't want anyone to get spoiled if you don't want to be spoiled, so with that in mind, let's delve into what DVD leaks have shared with us. All right, so apparently anniversary chapter leaked via pre-PTB build, Killer the Dredge, and the survivor is Hattie Kua. I thought it was Katua or Hattie Kua, Kua, Kao, Hattie Kao, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Um, and I've blown up these images so that we can see it a little bit better, but this is basically what we're working with, guys. The Dredge, the Dredge. And I'm not going to lie, straight out of the gate, it's obvious right now it's not licensed. Um, these leaks are not 100%, but we, we were all pretty sure that it was unlicensed. So at this point, you know, I'm just going to go with that. A manifestation of the dark thoughts of a once vibrant community, the dredge is able to teleport between lockers and summon an overwhelming darkness. So it's the locker play that we were all told about, uh, that we all thought was going to happen. So no surprises there. Uh, and then if we go to his power, which is interesting, it's that locker play. Uh, special ability, the gloaming. Uh, the dredge leaves a remnant behind. Uh, aim at a locker and press the ability button to teleport into it or press the attack button to return to the remnant. The remnant is disabled when teleporting to a locker or when a survivor touches it while in a locker, aim at any other locker and press the ability button to teleport again. Uh, each teleport consumes a power token. Exiting the locker or returning to your remnant will activate the gloaming's cooldown, after which all power tokens are recharged. Basically, long and short of it, guys, because there's a lot of, you know, the way that behavior explain things, it can sometimes be very confusing. You can use lockers to teleport. That's pretty much it. And you're going to build your special ability, which is Nightfall. And I'll read this part, special ability Nightfall. The Nightfall meter builds when a healthy survivor is injured. So that's where you want to get your hits and that sort of thing. A survivor is hooked or the teleport power is used. Okay, I didn't know that. So all three things attribute to your Nightfall meter. The Nightfall meter also fills faster for each survivor in the injured state. That's cool. Once the Nightfall meter is full, Nightfall begins. And this is the part where I'm actually really excited for. During Nightfall, survivors must navigate in total darkness. The dredge's teleport is faster with a shorter cooldown and there is no terror radius. Nightfall ends after 60 seconds. Survivors destroying the remnant also reduces the time of an active Nightfall. So this to me is pure horror. This is like your, your complete dark surroundings. Survivors don't know what the hell they're doing unless they're on a gen already, I guess. Um, but this is scary. No terror radius. This guy's going to come out of nowhere and it's going to... It really feels like a horror. <laughs> is, is that where they're leaning to more with Sadako and now this? I don't know. I'm pretty happy. And just one last image of him. Here he is in the, uh, sort of the end of the match screen, which, wow. Definitely not very humanoid. Uh, might be a conglomeration of many things, but I guess we'll see. All right, let's go through the perks, guys. Septic Touch. When a survivor performs a healing action within your terror radius, that survivor suffers from blindness and exhaustion. Pretty, pretty good. These effects linger for six seconds after a healing action is interrupted by any means. So uh, another hit and run ability. Suits the killer as well. Uh, dissolution. Three seconds after injuring a survivor by any means, Dissolution activates for 12 seconds. The next time a survivor fast vaults over a pallet inside of your terror radius, the entity will break the pallet at the end of the vault and this perk deactivates. Wow. Okay. That's kind of cool. Is that for one pallet? Three seconds after injuring a survivor by any means, Dissolution activates. Okay, yeah, it just keeps going, right? Interesting. Okay, cool. That's very good. I like that. It's in a new combat build sort of a perk. All right, and darkness revealed. In your presence, places once thought to be safe are perhaps the most dangerous. Some of the writing in this. When you open a locker, the auras of all survivors within 16 meters of any lockers are revealed to you for three seconds. This perk has a 30 second cooldown. That'd be good with him yet again, but it's okay. Meh. <laughs> uh, okay, now moving to survivors. Residual manifest. After a successfully killer blind, successful killer blind, the killer is affected by the blindness status effect for 30 seconds. Interesting, the blindness with the killer. Okay, cool. 
gives flashlights more reason to be used, which is good. Yeah, they should. it's about time they've done things like this. In a focus, you have honed your ability to see through the haze of the ravage. You can see other survivor scratch marks within 32 meters within uh, range of you. Okay. Whenever another survivor loses a health state within 32 meters of you, the killer's aura is revealed for five seconds. Yeah, it's all right. Kindred's better. And overzealous, fighting back against the ravage motivates and inspires you. After cleansing any totem, this perk activates. Your generated repair speed is increased by 4%. This perk deactivates when you lose a health state by any means. That's going to be a massive problem. I don't know why we're doing more uh, generator speed perks. Uh, it's not needed. I, I don't understand. And the last thing I want to show you guys is Hattie Couture. Um, this is an image of her that was leaked with DVD leaks. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> it's good. So there's quite a few memes already. And this has only been out for about an hour or so. Yeah, I, I think it. <laughs> so it's 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 not my favorite looking thing I've ever seen, but that's fine. Each to their own, I guess. And lastly, I wanted to quickly share this as well because I think this is important. But the big man Joe, thank you for helping me with this and uh, grabbing some of the screenshots. This is basically what Mass, the the king of DVD leaks over there, has said about uh, this chapter that's coming out. But more importantly, the next two chapters. I know about chapter 25 and 26 too, so I guess this person leaked next three chapters to me, so I think they can lose chapter 25 if I leak it. I don't know. Yeah, okay, he's trying to find the moral compass in the situation, but um, yeah, they may have three chapters, and there's nothing that tells me that that's not true, because DBD leaks are 98% on the ball most of the time, but um, the question is, guys, is, is if you're happy or not with this. Are you happy with an original chapter coming to you? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have already braced for this and ready for it. I personally think the killer looks really cool, and I love the ability of that true darkness. And um, I think it can bring some more horror into the game and some more... I hope it's not too hit and run. It sounds maybe that it could, but uh, I get... we need to test it, need to see what goes on. We're going to be there for the anniversary stream coming up, so it's less than two weeks away now, so... Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comments down below. I just thought I'd share this with you. Let me know. I'm interested to hear what you guys think of it. Um, I'm a little bit of a mixed bag, but I think uh, the killer looks really cool. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this content and you want to keep up to date with more DVD news and gameplay. Hit the button. All right, guys, have a good weekend.